Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Sauber Lab, and today will be another video about Open Media Vowel. In this video specifically, we're gonna show how you can install and use the plugin called Fire Browser. This plugin is quite interesting because it allows you to access your data anywhere that you want. You don't need to be physically in your house to access it, and you can use it directly in the web browser. Therefore, you can upload, download, and do everything that you want in anywhere that you want as long as you set up your password and your proxy reverse. So in this way, we're gonna understand a little bit more how we can set up it and what's the advantage to use this Fire Browser. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed and let's understand a little bit more about it. Before I start to explain how we can install this plug and how we can use it, I will explain how Synology NAS do with a similar plug and why it's so good to use it. So if I come here my screen, here my Synology NAS, and if I use this Fire Station, it's a similar for Fire Browser, because if I open here, I can have access for all my folders. If I come here in my home, I have all my home, and if I open a specific folder, I have all my videos and what I'm work on. If I come here and want to download or I want to upload some information, I can do it directly here. I can share some links and use everything in the browser. So if I don't have access or I'm not in local in my network, I still be able to download all my data, modify my computer and that after upload. What make my life much easy. And because of it, I wanted to use the same system for my Open Media Val. Before, I use a Fire Browser directly in the Docker. But uh, the problem that you use this system directly in the Docker is that uh, it's not uh, correctly linked for my share folders. So all the time that I want to choose a different share folder, I need to go in my Docker, I need to modify my absolute path, and I need to do this configuration, what? It's not great. Also, if I have any problem with my Docker, I don't have access for my browser outside. So in this way, Open Media Val have the Fire Browser directly as a plug. If I come here in my system and my plugs, I don't have it yet because it's part of Open Media Val Extras. If I come here, I have a lot of different plugs, but not specific this one that I'm looking. So first thing, we need to install the Open Media Val Extras. For it, I come here in this page and here's the Open Media Val Extra. And to install the Open Media Val Extra, I can only copy this specific configuration or this specific quick installation, but I need to access through the PuTTY. And here my PuTTY, I'll use my IP address for my server and put open. Now, because I use in first time this computer, I need to accept it and I need to look in as a root. So let's open this page and look in root and put my password, the same one that I configured once that I will install my Open Media Val, and now I have uh, access to the SSH to my Open Media Val. If this one don't work, it's because in service you didn't enable the SSH access. What I need to install that specific script, if I put enter, I don't need to do anything, this script will do all the installation for me. So they will download all the packagings, will make sure that everything is work, and that's once that they give the information, installation is ready, you can refresh your page, it means that it's ready. So then we can go for the next stage. Once that appears this information, as I told, the installation is ready, so I can go back from my Open Media Val and refresh this page. One thing that you're gonna see once that this page is refreshed, now you have Open Media Val Actress. And here you don't need to do anything at this stage because you're not going to install Docker. We can come here in plugs and here in plugs appear much more plugs. What I'm interested in to install is this one, that's Fire Browser, what I have architecture for AMD, ARM and others. In my case, I'm using a virtual machine and this virtual machine is inside an AMD system, so this will work quite well. What I need to do, I need to select the plug that I want to install, put here install, and ask, you're sure that you want to install? Yes, I want to install, so we'll put confirm and yes, and that they will start to do the whole installation. Basically, they will go for all the steps, you don't need to do anything, only wait a little bit. You know that this installation has been complete, one appear and offline, so I can close it, and the page will be refreshed. 
One thing that you observe that if you come in Surface, now we have this file browser as a new app, new Surface. So if I open the Surface, I can enable this application and the standard port will be 3670. If you don't want to keep this port, you can change for any port that you want. But in my case, I will leave this port. And other thing that's interesting, they say that uh, the credential for this file system initially will be admin, admin. You're gonna look in using this one and after you need to change it to make sure that uh, you, no one have access for your file browser. Other thing that you need to do is you come here in share folder and you need to select the share folder that you want. If you have more than one share folder, you can select multiples, but in this case, I have only one. So I'll leave only my home. And now I can come here and put save. Once that I save, they will ask me to apply because this configuration is pending. I needed to put apply and yes. What will take a couple of minutes until they finish it to do all the configuration and start this application. Once that is started the application, we can go for the next stage. Once that this application has been started, now we can come here and open and that they will open this application. Other thing that you can do, you can use the same IP address for your machine and port 3670. Here, as I told, the initial user will be admin and password admin, and now you are in your file browser. Let's close here. First thing that you need to do is change your password. To change your password, you come here in settings, and here you can update your password. I suggest you change straight away the password for your root. In this way, you are sure that no one will have access for it. And here you can share or see what is sharing. You can have some global settings look like reverse prox and other things. And here you can add new users. You can create as many users as you want. You can do some configurations. You can create some specific folders for them. But in our case, we're not gonna do it. What I'm interested in, I want to show how it's work. So here I have one folder called new folder. Let's say that I will create a new folder. Now click here and create the folder that's called test and put create. It means that I have a new folder. So if I access my first system, I have already in this new folder. They are open media Val and home. And if I create more folders, let's say that I create a folder called one, two, three and come here and refresh this page, automatically they will update it and I have a folder called one, two, three. In this way, I can come here and I can edit the name. I can copy, I can move, I can delete, or I can share it. If I come here to share, I can define how long I want it to be sharing it. Suppose that I wanted to share for only one hour and put share. Now I have this specific file. If I copy this link, they will give this link for me to access. If I come here to access, they will say, don't have anything, but here you can download and what you can do. Because I'm looking as a root, they will give uh, the rest of the information for me to access, but suppose that I'm off and I try to access it, I still be able to access it anywhere that I want. If I use a proxy reverse, I can use uh, NGX or I can use Cloudflare or any other system, I can still be able to access it anywhere that I want, I can share this information with anyone that I want, and that make only better for you to work and do any activity. If I come here and looking again for admin and put my password that I change, come here in settings and share, I can see what is sharing. If I wanted to cancel the share, I can only delete it. And now it's not anymore sharing with that specific link that I created before. Basically only explain how you can use this first system, what it's better for you to use once that you want to have a freedom to use web browser. It means that you don't need to be in your local your network, you can download, work, upload, and do everything that you want, anywhere that you want. So in this way, we arrive at the end of this video. I hope that you guys like this video. If you like this video and you think that was interesting, please don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed, and see you next time. Bye.